Hi. <laughs> so um, I woke up this afternoon um, and thought about killing myself. <laughs> yeah, you can run for that if you want. <laughs> but then I thought, yeah, but what would I do after that? <laughs> uh, so I thought I'd do something worthwhile instead, something to really uh, say that I, uh, I didn't waste my money coming to university. Uh, so I wrote a poem. <laughs> wrote a poem about a frog. It goes with something like this. I am a frog. I sit on a log. I disapprove of a moon. So it's the spot that I hog. The last time I did move from my frog's hog log was to illegally vote in the 2016 Brexit referendum. <laughs> the old man near my pond had died. Oh, how his family had cried and cried. But I had no time for lament. I hopped from my log, a happy little frog, and off to the polling station I went. <laughs> On my way to the scout hut, I felt rather bored. There was no inherent thrill to electoral fraud. <laughs> the old lady at the desk was surprised to see that a Mr. Ian Tresk from number 23 was an amphibian and not a fibbing man. <laughs> the Ian was, of course, a pathological liar, which is why I, the frog, felt comfortable with my disrespectful democratic deception of the deceased. <laughs> The tiny pencil felt huge in my little frog hand. I used it to vote leave, for it is sovereignty I demand. <laughs> EU regulations on sizes of lily pad are unconstitutional. They make me a mad. <laughs> so maybe my indefinite articles are pretty shitty. But the only article I'm definite about is Article 50. <laughs> then, Almost four years of dither and delay left my little froggy convictions replaced with dismay. Disaster, warned economists. Many companies set to flee. Even Frog Corp International. And this would not do for me. So I phoned up my old boss and said, Hi Terry, this is Damien Frog. I worked under you for the last day of my 35 year old career as a systems analyst for Frog Corp. Did you hear about the plans to move the main office from Manchester to Leiden, Holland? Because I'm wondering if this will affect my pension. <laughs> I did plead. <laughs> you see that last stanza is the same rhyming structure as all the others. Just the last line is a bit longer. I think. Yeah, I'm not, I can't count all the syllables, not words worth. I'm a frog. <laughs> I was sad on my log. Perhaps Brexit wasn't to be. Then along came another frog, and he sat down next to me. He said, don't worry, you'll be fine. Boris will get Brexit done, for democracy is paramount. It's the people who've won. I turned to find that the speaker was no frog. It was Nigel Farage who sat on my lawn. <laughs> now, I'm very racist <laughs> towards humans, <laughs> so I wasn't sure I could trust him. But he looked a lot like a frog, so I went out on a limb. <laughs> I am still a frog, I still sit on a log, but now I also sit as the Brexit party candidate for Sunderland Central. <laughs>
wouldn't you like to save the world while wearing all black? It goes with everything. <laughs> Plus you get free armbands to distinguish yourself from your lessons, which is self-expression to the max. <laughs> Number two, no democracy, no problem. <laughs> Voting is so boring. You have to go to a school in the middle of the day and you don't even get the guy you voted for. As the 2016 elections proved, other people vote for the wrong thing. <laughs> Why let them? And then in the article there's a gif of Kermit the Frog and he's shrugging his shoulders saying, yeah, why let them? <laughs> Number three, violence looks cool in films. What if it's cool in real life? <laughs> we all saw Iron Man take on Thanos in Avengers Endgame. That was the most epic thing ever. What if Bernie Sanders fired an AR-15 right to Donald Trump's butt? I watched a freak out of that. Plus, with the state condoning violence as the main form of expression of both self and nation, the atmosphere of football games is gonna be turned up to 11. <laughs> Number four, DIY fash. Since its invention by Benito Mussolini in the 1920s, fascism has remained broadly undefined. So why not make it your own with fun colors and symbols? Hitler marched under the swastika, but we can march under the dankest of memes. What if the ICANN has cheeseburger cat was the figurehead for a misinformation campaign targeted at sowing dissent within democratic nations? Um, did someone order a slice of awesome? <laughs> Number five, the icing on the fascism. The best part is that anyone who disagrees with the last four points will be taken care of. <laughs> that means that everyone who's left will be in agreement. Since when does that happen in politics? <laughs> Maybe now you'd like to give fascism a go. Here at BuzzFeed, we've been spreading alarmism and misinformation for years, subtly forcing moderates to choose an arbitrary left-right divide such that when the revolution comes, there will be no choice but all out bloody warfare. <laughs> you might as well try fascism today, because after we're done dismantling the social order, there will be nothing left but the warm embrace of the totalitarian state. OMG, lol, cute, win. <laughs> I've been carrying on, thank you very much.